My name is Nicole Camarino, a Voices Certified Music Therapist at Voices Together, and I'm so glad you're watching. A lot of what we talk about with our students revolves around self-regulation, monitoring and managing your emotions. But today I'm going to bring you three different coping skills that you or someone you know can use when you're feeling mad, frustrated, anxious, or when things get to be a little too much. The first one is deep breathing. Deep breathing can help you calm down in a stressful situation because it's grounding and it allows you to focus on the simple actions of breathing in and out. And it helps you reconnect to what's going on around you. We're gonna try the four, seven, eight breathing method. So we're gonna breathe in for four, we're gonna hold for seven, and we're gonna breathe out for eight. We're gonna try this together, okay? Just follow my fingers. Breathe in. And hold. And we're gonna breathe out. Nice job. The second coping skill is counting to 10. Counting to 10 in a rhythmic way can really help you calm down as well. Did you know that your brain takes six seconds to process an event? So if you're counting to 10, it'll help your brain process things in a calmer state and it'll delay the initial reaction you could have had, like if you were going to respond in anger. Let's try this together, okay? We're gonna count to 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job. The last coping skill is just simply taking a break. Sometimes we need to walk away and be by ourselves for a little bit and that's okay. During that time, eat your favorite snack, listen to your favorite song, go for a walk, do something positive and something that you enjoy. Then come back to the situation and try to figure things out. I hope you enjoy these coping skills and I hope that you try them out. With the holidays coming up and everything that's been so stressful this year, we really need some coping skills in our back pocket that we can use to relax and enjoy time with our loved ones, whether that be in person or virtually. Until next time. Goodbye. Adios. Au revoir.